Hi, my name is Zachary Cloutier, an engineer here at DPS Telecoms, and I'm here today to demonstrate to you the HVAC Controller G3. The HVAC Controller G3 is a smart controller capable of remotely and efficiently running your HVAC systems at optimal levels. So I'm going to very briefly go over the HVAC Controller's provisioning menu. So over here, you have your thresholds for your control ambience for your cooling and heating. You have your number of HVAC units, so currently we have two. Each HVAC is either the lead unit or lag units. So what the HVAC system cycle time does is it determines how long an HVAC unit will stay as the lead unit. And you can set them up by the individual units themselves. Now, right now, you can see that it's set for 24 hours. So every day, the lead unit will be swapped to one of the other units. And then the, other, then the, the old lead unit will become a lag unit. So this is the, all right, HVAC system timers. This is just a lag before. This is just a... This is sort of like an alarm qualifier before it actually kicks in the HVAC system if it detects something's wrong. But what DAC does is it'll automatically configure relay, relay 24 to be a DAC control, and it'll respond to discrete alarm 5, which is a temp high. Direct air cooling will automatically configure relay 24 to act as a DAC control. What it'll do is it'll set up a derived equation so that it'll automatically trigger when discrete alarm 5 is triggered. You can optionally set up generators that will power up your HVAC units and can configure them in, this, in these settings here. Make sure they match up with the settings for your generators, so warm up time and a cool down time. So down here we have the sensors that are configured to monitor the different portions of our HVAC system. So what we have here are ambient, vent, and outdoor sensors. So what you do is you need to go into your sensors, connect your DUIR sensors to your HVAC system. Uh, as you can see, we have our temp and humidity sensor in here. And then you go into your HVAC controller. As you can see here, our temperature sensor is set up to be one of our indoor ambient sensors. You also have vent sensors, and you can optionally have outdoor DUIR sensors as well. And last, we have our edit swap date. This allows you to edit when the last HVAC lead swap was. You also have these settings down here, maintain unit swap time and record unit swap time. This allows you to, I, to change when you want the next swap to occur when the last actual swap happened or when the last swap happened that you put in, that you inputted up here. And that about covers it for the web interface. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and feel free to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.